So what in the world did you tell those guys at halftime? <laughs> well, I mean, it was just a, it was a, a group effort of bad, bad football. Really, honestly, I can't remember a time in my career where I saw so many offensive mistakes by a team that I coached. And so I was, I was, I mean, a little bit embarrassed, disappointed in myself and them. And so I told them, you know, we're gonna find out what we're made of because this, this was about as bad as it's gonna get. And I thought, I thought the guys responded real well in the second half and came out and played our kind of football. It's hard to keep track who did what the fourth quarter. It seemed to just come flurry. late. Yeah, we, we grabbed the momentum and, 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 and we have, have done a great job of doing that in the past. We get that momentum wave and ride it and we'll really explode it in the fourth quarter. And I think, you know, we finally kind of wore them down. I, I give a lot of credit to Sperry. I mean, those guys came and fought hard. And, uh, you know, I know they're probably proud of the way their guys fought, especially the first three quarters of that game. They were beating us in the fourth quarter. So, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're happy to come out with the win. Awesome. So where do we go from here, Coach? Well, district starts next week. We sure can't come out like that in the first half. We'll be we'll be behind the eight ball. So uh, go, go back to work. Again, these guys were just so inexperienced. I, I can't even – I mean, we saw some bad plays, and that's the half of what's actually going wrong with some of the stuff we're doing. So got a long ways to go, and we'll uh, we'll keep plugging away. They're staying engaged, and that's the main thing. If they'll keep, keep staying engaged and keep giving us the right attitude, we'll, we'll get it fixed.